down a scorner, someone who just does this destructive work. They, they don't build up relationships, they tear them apart. That's what a scorner does. And so surely he scorneth the scorners. God takes care of them, but he gives grace unto the lowly. Now the lowly is simply just the poor, the humble, the afflicted, the meek. You know, meekness is simply strength under control. So when I hold a little baby, it's, it's within my ability to hurt that little baby, right? The strength that I have as an adult, any adult, does not me personally, any adult. But meekness is using all of that strength to protect that little one. And that's what we're called to do, to make a difference in the lives of those around us. Verse 35, this is the last verse. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall come, shall be the promotion of fools. So fools will have shame. Shame is, is it, it'll just follow them, right? So you, when you receive that, just look back and say, stop, I don't want that anymore. Now, if you've been hanging out with me this whole time, you're like, well, what is the application for today? I love, this is a very common verse. I love verse five and six. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. There's one more. Be not wise in thine own eyes and fear the Lord and depart from evil. You know, those three verses, if you literally put hands and feet on those every day, you've got a changed soul. Amazing. Amazing gift. So that's my challenge to you. See if you can't put hands and feet on verses 4, 5, and 6. Possibly the Holy Spirit's given you a separate verse that you can apply in your life. And you know what I'd love? I'd love if you were willing to put a comment in below and say, this is the verse that I'm applying today. This is what changed my view on things today. Right? I don't want to be froward. I want to be a truther whatever that is. If you would share that with me, I'd appreciate it. And if this has blessed you, would you send it on? Would you share it with somebody? Would you send it, you know, forward it on to them and say, hey, this really helped me and maybe it'll help you. And that way the podcast is growing and promoted for the purpose that all would come to know Jesus as Savior and Lord. Remember, Jesus is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And no one comes to the Father except through the Son. Hey, God bless you. Have a delightful day in the Lord. You've got to stay the way.